In this video, I will be covering some new insane features and improvements that have been made to Premiere Pro version 23.3. The 23.3 update of Premiere Pro includes important fixes, optimizations and user request improvements, like background autosave. This update is recommended for all users. So a new feature has been added, which now lets you directly export your project from the file menu on top. Quote, exporting via media encoder means exporting happens in the background, so you can continue working in Premiere Pro. Although this could also be done in the export app before, but it's still a nice to have feature that they have added. Talking about exporting, Adobe added a new feature which lets you see recently used presets in the export tab. The preset menu in export mode now shows you the last three presets you used for export. This makes it easier to quickly apply presets recently used with other sequence, clips or projects. This can be extremely handy for those who have a lot of presets. It's now easier to move assets between different projects when using productions. In case you didn't know, production lets multiple people work together. So if you're one of them using productions, then Adobe has you covered. Improved R3D performance. Premiere Pro has significantly improved performance for red R3D footage in Apple M1 and Apple M2 Max. This is a huge change for Mac users that are using Premiere Pro and are editing red R3D footage. Adobe also added GPU acceleration to the center split non-additive dissolve and split transition. It's actually huge for those who use these transitions as this drastically improves playback and exporting speed. Quote, GPU acceleration improves the effects performance including better performance in the effect stack for faster exports. They also added a new and improved learn panel. For those who are new to Premiere or just in general people who want to learn could really benefit from this. Although they could also just watch YouTube tutorial and learn that way. And by the way, if you are a beginner and want to learn something new, then make sure to check out my videos on my channel. You can now import Mogurts more easily. When importing motion graphics templates, Premiere Pro displays a dialog that explains that the template will be stored under the Browse tab in the Essential Graphics panel and not the Project panel. So that's all from me today. If you like this sort of format where I cover new updates and changes, then please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.